Hello students of class 9th. I welcome you all in this online session. I am Faraz Fiaz and I will be teaching you physics. Okay, so this is lecture number 1. As you have already studied chapter number 1, 2 and 3 in class 8th. So we will start from chapter number 4. That is turning effect of a force. Okay. The major concepts uh, which we will learn in this chapter are forces on bodies, addition of forces, resolution of forces, moment of a force, principle of moments, center of mass, couple, equilibrium and stability. These will be the major concerns or the areas which we are going to cover. In this unit, we will learn many interesting concepts such as torque, equilibrium and their applications in daily life. So students to start up, I'll give you an example which shows the turning effect of a force. As it is in your notice that we cannot loosen or tighten a nut of, a, of the axle of a bike with the help of our hand. So we have to use a mechanical device which is known as a spanner. So normally we use a spanner for loosening or tightening uh, the nut. A spanner increases the turning effect of the force. Look at the picture. On the previous page, I'll show you. Uh, there is a joker who's trying to balance himself on the wooden plank, which is placed over a cylindrical pipe. Can we do the same? Yes, we can. When we learn how to balance ourselves on the thin wooden plank, this is going to be very interesting because we'll discuss this in the topic equilibrium a baby gradually learns to stand up by balancing herself you know that jab bachcha chota hota hai wo apne aap ko balance karna start karta hai first of all he starts to crawl wo crawling mein apne aap ko balance karta hai then he literally starts uh, walking and he, he knows how to balance himself or herself okay in the picture given Figure number 4.2, you can see children carrying pictures on their heads. This is a unique process in which the children balances the pictures on their heads. With a little effort, we can learn to balance a stick vertically up on our fingertip. Balanced objects are said to be in equilibrium. Okay. Okay, students, uh, you have already studied the first two, three topics of this chapter that is like and unlike parallel forces, the addition of forces and the resolution of forces. So I'll move directly to the topic number 4.4 .4, that is torque or moment of a force. Okay, what is torque? The first question which comes in our mind is torque. So what is torque? Torque is usually defined as the turning effect of a force or moment of the force. ठीक है? Force तो हम लगाते हैं bodies के ऊपर हम ये already पढ़ चुके हैं three chapter के अंदर कि force क्या करती है, produce करती है motion या stop कर सकती है किसी object को या उसकी direction को change कर सकती है. But here the turning effect of a force is known as torque. जब force किसी object को turn कर कर दे किसी और direction में तो उसको हम क्या कहते हैं torque. Okay. For example, when we open or close our door, we are producing torque in it. When we open the null or tap of water, we are producing torque in it. When we when we ride a bicycle, its wheels start to rotate and we are applying torque on it. Okay. So let's see the figure 4.9. Here push or pull turn the door about its hinge or the axis of rotation. You can see the place where the door is fixed. This line is known as hinge or fixed point or it is also known as the axis of rotation. The door is opened or closed due to the turning effect of the force acting on it. Okay. It is easy to open and close the door by pulling or pushing it at its handle you can see the handle there you can easily close or open the door by pulling or pushing it at its handle by applying force on its handle 
or by applying torque on it okay the second topic which comes is the rigid body so students what is a rigid body any object uh, which has particles which are closely packed and the distance between all the pairs of the particles of the body do not change by applying force then it is called a rigid body for example a stone for example a duster or a marker these all are examples of a rigid body a rigid body is the one that is not deformed by force or forces acting on it okay when we apply force on a rigid on a rigid body it doesn't change its shape or it is not deformed then the body is called a rigid body okay next is axis of rotation consider a rigid body rotating about a line okay the particles of a body move in circles with their centers all lying on this line this is called the axis of rotation consider a body rotating about a line for example consider this tap when a body rotates around a fixed axis that axis is known as the axis of rotation for example turning pencil in a sharpener turning stopcock of a water tap turning the door knob and so on are some examples of turning effect of a force now the question arises what is the exact location where we must apply the force in order to turn the body or to minimize the force the question arises why the handle of the door is fixed near the outer edge of the door you have always seen that we do not fix the handle at the inner edge or near the axis of rotation or the hinge support we do not apply handle over there we fix the handle at the outer edge we can open or close a door more easily by applying a force at the outer edge of a door rather than the near end or near the hinge thus the location where the force is applied to turn a body is very important let us study the factors on which torque or moment of a force depends torque mainly depends upon two factors as you know the mathematical formula of the torque that is f into l where f denotes force and l denotes moment arm we will learn what moment arm is so basically the perpendicular distance between the axis of rotation yani ki jo fixed point hai hamare ya jo hinge hai jaise darwaze ka kona tha jahan pe hum इन उर्दू वी कॉल इट कब्जा जहाँ पे कब्जा हम लगाते हैं और उसको हम एक्सेस ऑफ रोटेशन भी कहते हैं हिंच पॉइंट भी कहते हैं फिक्स पॉइंट भी कहते हैं ओके सो द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द एक्सेस ऑफ रोटेशन एंड द लाइन ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ द फोर्स इज कॉल्ड मोमेंट आर्म ऑफ द फोर्स यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट वेन यू लुक एट द डायग्राम हेयर सो दिस इज द एक्सेस पॉइंट और द फिक्स एंड द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस this is the fixed point you can understand okay the perpendicular distance from the fixed point to the point where you are applying force that distance is known as moment arm okay it is because the turning effect of the force is different in the two cases the diagram you can see in the upper diagram we have greater moment arm on the other hand we have a spanner having less or short length so the moment arm will be lesser as well so here it writes it is easy to tighten a nut using a spanner of longer arm than a spanner of short arm the moment produced by a force using a spanner of longer arm will be greater than the torque produced by the same force but by using a spanner of shorter arm we can understand it after understanding the concept of line of action of force okay the point where the force is applying that line is known as line of action of force 
okay or simply we can say that the line along which a force acts is called the line of action of force you can see the figure the line bc uh, the line b c is the line of action of force f whereas the perpendicular distance between the axis of rotation this is the axis of rotation and this is the force applied so the perpendicular distance between the axis of rotation and the line of action of force is known as moment arm moment arm is represented by uh, the letter l whereas force is represented by the letter f and torque is represented by a letter tau greater is a force greater is the moment of force when there is a greater force moment of force will be greater similarly longer the is the moment arm greater is the moment of the force because torque is the product of force and moment arm if any one of these two subscripts is greater the greater will be torque mathematically we can write it as torque is equal to f into l there you can see it and the si unit of torque is newton meter a torque of one newton is caused by a force of one newton acting perpendicular to the moment arm of one meter long okay there is a simple example in which a mechanic tightens the nut of a bicycle using a 15 centimeter long spanner by exerting a force of 200 newton find the torque that has tightened it okay again we'll uh, write the data force is equal to 200 newton and the moment arm is 15 centimeter okay we'll convert the centimeter into meters dividing by 100 it will be 0 0.5 meters by applying the formula of torque torque is equal to f into l in place of force you can write 200 and in place of l you can write 0 0.5 meters so the answer is 30 newton meter there's a torque of 30 newton meter is used to tighten the nut you can solve the mini exercise given at the right hand side and now the last step that is homework you have to write the definitions and derivations of the following topics in your neat copies remember if you don't do neat work you have to do it again we'll check it after the school opens so first is uh, force on bodies addition of forces resolution of uh, forces and moment of a force you have to write down the definitions and derivations of the following topics in your neat copies also solve mcqs related to the above mentioned topics and solve numerical 4.1 4.2 4.3 and 4.4 this is your homework okay thank you students